In this tutorial, we will learn about how to make a smart poultry farm system within the Proteus. The microcontroller we are using is the Arduino Uno. For it, first of all, you must know that some of the components which we are using inside this simulation are not the built-in or integral part of the Proteus. So you should have to download the same file whose downloading link is given in the description. Okay, now uh, we have like uh, some of the components. Uh, one by one, we will drag them out. Okay, now first component is our Arduino Uno. And one more thing that you can use any of the Arduino you can find on Google. You can download its library and then you can use it inside your Proteus. Okay, now we have taken our Arduino Uno. After this, we need to take our serial monitor, which is with the name Virtual Terminal inside the Proteus. Its RXT must be connected with the TX pin of Arduino Uno. Why it is so? Because we are just sending values from Arduino Uno to the serial monitor. So we are not going to connect its TXT with the RX of Arduino because we are not going to receive any of the value from serial monitor. Okay, so this is our simple uh, two components. Now we will add some of the other components. Okay, now we we will go for our uh, uh, custom based uh, component that is called as the feed feed poultry feed okay okay now this is for uh, the grains or food of the our poultry and the second component is the water okay for water we Uh, yeah, also uh, again I am repeating that these are not the integral components of the Proteus and these are not the libraries like IDX files. So you should have to download the same file whose link is given in the description and then you can use them properly or otherwise you cannot use them. Okay, now these are our uh, two components that is water and feeder. Okay, now we, we need to take some animated relays. Because we want to connect these two components with the Arduino Uno. Okay, we will connect them with 13 and pin number 12. And other side of these relays with the ground. Yeah, these these pins are connected with the coils of the relays also you also need to reduce the voltages of relays to 5 volts because we are operating them directly on the Arduino Uno okay now we will connect this one end of the feeder with this normally open pin and also the uh, water component or water element with the normal open pin now we need to connect our DC supply okay so this is DC so we will connect it with 12 volt here also we need to connect it with 12 volts okay now now we can see that we have left with one pin and we need to connect it with the ground. Okay now. Okay now we need to go for our Arduino Uno code. We have written it. Okay now this is the code. You have to write it at your own. Okay. Uh, for you can also make some of the changes in it if you want so this is our code yeah you can see it properly in it you can see that we have connected our both elements that is feeder and water tank with the pin number 13 and pin number 12 
the feeder is active high and the water tank is active low because uh, it is like uh, lower so so you can see also we have also defined the milli's function in it that is time because on after a certain time we need to put our grains and water into the corresponding uh, ports okay so that is why when it is like a 10 sec after 10 seconds it will uh, move uh, the, the food will move and after then 10 seconds that is after 20 seconds again water and feed will move into the pods okay okay now we will run it out we will compile it out okay now so it's ino.hack so we will copy it Control C. We will go to Arduino Juno. We will paste it here and OK. Okay, now we will run it. Now you can see the time is passing by. Now it is like uh, it is in milliseconds, so two second pass, and now three second, and then four seconds, and then five. When it hits ten. Uh, both of the feeder and water must uh, be on. Yeah, feeder is on, water is also on. Okay, now both are off. Okay, now we will wait for 20 seconds again because it is a repetitive process. Okay, now 18 seconds passed, 19, and now it's 20, okay? So water and feeder both become on and then off, okay? So in this way, you can have your, uh, both the elements, uh, that is feeder and water running. Okay, now, hopefully you enjoyed this simulation. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for visiting here.